How's everybody's New Year's resolutions going? Mine are going great. It's January 3rd. I'm finishing off the last of the nog in my coffee. I wish it was a weekend, but it's a Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. We are starting a new concert cycle. We have rehearsal today, the day after tomorrow, and then our concert is on Saturday. This cream cheese, it's vegan cream cheese. Highly recommend, it tastes exactly like cream cheese. Like I am not even joking. Like I, I, I bit into this and I had to like double check. I'm like, no, I'm gonna get a stomach ache. And then it's like, oh no, you're actually not because it's vegan. Because I've had some that just, it's bland and it doesn't taste like anything. This actually has flavor and taste like cream cheese. I think I'm about to eat my last Brooklyn bagel, which I'm really upset about. The Improbable Beasts are playing this weekend. We are doing a piece written for 14 bass clarinets, 14. Yes. Yes, there are 14 individual parts. The music was written by John Russell. It is called Requiem for 2020. You all remember 2020. We're also doing a piece that was written in response to the war in Ukraine. I don't know, I feel weird making political statements on this channel because I feel like the last thing the world needs is like a hot take from some random woman who lives in Boston. Hello. Also, I live in Boston, uh, like the liberal capital of the world, so if you need a hot take, just 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 pick one that you think resonates with me and I bet you it does. Anyways, I'm uncomfortable. I'm gonna pack my lunch. I'm gonna go to work. I've already done my yoga for today. I'm gonna take a nice long walk home and then go to rehearsal. We are starting off 2024 immaculately. Does that word make sense there? It's still early. It's rehearsal time and I'm wearing a comically large puffy coat. And uh, also, this is my dinner, Cliff Bar. Okay, seven o'clock rehearsal on a Wednesday. Woo, what do you do on Wednesdays at seven o'clock? Let me know in the comments. vlog again. I, it's a bad habit, but it's rehearsal time. Hi, didn't see you there. I feel like a nimrod because I got here ready to teach in the morning for my morning lesson and my student didn't show up. And my student, after that student, uh, canceled ahead of time, so I could have slept in like an extra hour today and taken my time this morning. So I feel a little dumb and I feel a little mad. I'm just practicing B flat. If you happen to play a brass instrument and are classically trained, you will have recognized what I just played. Tchaikovsky 4. Spoiler alert, that's gonna be like an upcoming video. I did a, an absolutely atrocious job filming this. My New Year's resolutions are going pretty well. I've been doing 30 days of yoga. I've done five days so far. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get to yoga today because 
Like I said, I woke up early to get here, and had I known that my first student wasn't going to show up, I could have had time to do yoga and get ready for the concert. Over the holidays, a lot of my students got sick, so there have been a lot of cancellations today, but those cancellations happened ahead of time. But I came prepared, I knew that there were going to be some students out, so I'm going to actually use the time to have a little practice session with my bass clarinet before the concert tonight. I haven't actually played my B-flat clarinet in like weeks. I've been solely focused on my bass clarinet. Bass clarinet's like really big, and then when you switch over to B-flat clarinet, the mouth is different, the fingers are just like in a slightly different place, so if you get used to one, it's it, it kind of takes a little bit of an adjustment period to get back to the other. Also, I realized in that last clip, I put you against the clock. I have no idea if you're going to be able to hear the second hand of the clock that I put you against. That was probably really loud and really annoying. Oh my god, that was a long clip too. I'm sorry. Everyone has either canceled or not shown up. I've got one student who's coming, and my last student decided that he would rather have a Zoom lesson which I get, but like, are we really gonna get anything done over a Zoom? And then I've got another lesson after that at my student's house, and then I've got the concert. So I'm just chilling. I went to a supermarket to buy a salad and a Cliff Bar. That's how much time I have. I had enough time to leave the school, buy lunch, eat lunch, practice, and make it to my concert. The good thing about teaching for five hours straight without a break on Saturdays is that it makes the time fly by. I had another cancellation. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm teaching three students today out of like 10. And I could have had an extra hour at home because my first one was a no call, no show. And I rushed all the way here to teach his lesson. Ah, everything is fine. Why am I sitting in the dark? Our concert is tonight and then we're getting a big ol' snowstorm for tomorrow. bass clarinet ensemble is that even though I'm playing bass clarinet 11, it's super hard. All the parts are super hard. It's like, but like in a good way, like challenging, like, like I'm never bored. As bass clarinetists, we're so used to like a lot of orchestral music and a lot of wind ensemble music, which a lot of the time is really boring and really repetitive and just like long, low notes. This is not that. <laughs> This is my favorite part of the whole piece because it's beautiful and I'm the lowest, I'm one of the lowest voices so I can like really play out on these like gorgeous low notes. Mm. <laughs>
right, so I know it's like dark out. It's only 5.30 p.m. It's like dinner time. I got myself, you can probably hear it, you can probably tell by the straw, a little, little coffee, a little, little coffee treat. Cause I'm really tired. No, I just need to like make the transition from like teaching to performing. I'm actually really excited because the music we're playing tonight is all John Russell's music. He's the leader of the beasts. And tonight is the first time I'm gonna hear him play B flat clarinet live. Only heard him play bass and I'm so excited. He's playing a, a clarinet piano sonata piece um, that he wrote in response to the war in Ukraine. I love his music. It's so much fun to play. It's tiring as hell. He writes some really good music. And because he's a clarinet player slash bass clarinet player, it's funny because like some people you can tell. Like with, with John's music, like you could definitely tell he plays clarinet, but he doesn't put limitations on his music. If something's really hard to do on clarinet or bass clarinet, he'll just write it. And then he'll learn it and master it. And he's the kind of performer, composer, musician who makes me realize that things that I thought were impossible on my instrument are actually possible. 